Hi Pisces, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your support. It truly means the world. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you, Pisces. What are you removing, releasing, or letting go of from your life path this week? What are you removing, releasing, or letting go of from your life path this week? And this week you get the Eight of Pentacles, right? So you're letting go of the hard work. You're letting go of the graft, so to speak. And that's not to say that you're quitting your job or, you know, walking out on anything. Anything that feels like too much hard work is what you'll be letting go of this week. If that's a relationship, if it is pushing yourself and driving yourself too hard, this is a week where you say, look, you know what? I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna relinquish my hold on it. The Eight of Pentacles is all about the work. It's about your craft. It's about your um, what you do and how you do it, right? So this is all about working and working at arenas and working life. But the fact that you're letting it go, very often, in this position, the Eight of Pentacles means I'm no longer going to do whatever feels like too much hard work. If I feel like I'm having to force it, then it's not natural for me. It's not what I should be what I should be putting my time and effort into. Ultimately, Pisces is all about going with the flow, right? So if something is out of flow or not in alignment, you guys know it straight away, right? So this is basically saying to you, I know what it is that I'm about. I know what it is that I want to push myself with. And actually, if it doesn't fit with me then it doesn't fit with me this is going to be a big week for that for everybody you will see this in some way shape or form so <clears throat> What are you working on now? What's at the heart of the meat of the matter? What is it that you are attached to? What is it that you refuse to let go of? This is going to be the week where you discover what it is you're afraid to let go of. Uh, Pisces, the devil card is about addiction, right? It's about what we're tied to unconsciously. Uh, and the funny thing is, like any addiction in life, the first choice to pick it up was a choice, right? It was a decision. But that, whatever it is that it gives you, the feeling, the escape, the this, the that, whatever, um, it convinces you somewhere along the line that you can't let it go, that you'll be somehow diminished if you let it go. And with the devil card is what you're working on now. This is about you saying to yourself, what is it that I am attached to that is an unhealthy attachment? What is it that I now need to relinquish my hold on in order to move forward for something better? Um, you know, this is about you asking yourself that question and there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it's hard to let things go, but sometimes it has to be done. So the key to the week is the sun card, right? There is hope. No matter how much you, uh, you know, no matter what you're going through with what you're working on or where it is that you discover that there's some innate fear in you, there is hope for you to rewrite that. There is hope for you to change it. There is hope for you to say, all right, you know what? Yes, I'm having a hard experience or, uh, you know, one that doesn't feel so beneficial or positive here, but, I can transcend that. And ultimately the sun card is ultimate blessings. It's blessings, abundance, love, light, heat, right? And when you see the, the sun card as the key to the week, it says that no matter what experience you have, no matter what fear you discover, no matter what addiction you feel you have uncovered within your psyche, this is a moment where you can have the light pierce the darkness. There is hope at the end of it that you can and you will traverse this experience. Um, the sun card is beautiful and it highlights something. There is a surprise coming for all of us across the board. Make sure you check out the um, weekly overview video. See what you think. Take care. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff and I will see you very soon.